what is this? It's too big. I can barely fit it on the table. Let's see, let's see. It just came in the mail. Oh, okay. Would you look at that. It's my Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. Nice. Hello everybody, this is Cao Tong here aka Seixiang and today we'll be doing an unboxing for the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. So this is the collector's edition that comes with the game out this new angle for unboxing. I'll just uh, open up the boxes and we'll go through one by one the things that we get. Alright, let me just show you the box. Very 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 cool art. Wonder if it has every character. It certainly seems like they're trying to fill the, the box uh, art with every character that they have in the game and at the back we have the emblem and the things that are supposedly coming with the Divine Edition so we have a poster, we have the game, steel book, the art book and art cards yeah without further ado let's start the unboxing not seal or anything I hope the camera captures the stuff. There we go. Very nicely packaged. We have the game. I'm kind of partial on the design for the main characters. Yeah, red and blue can be a bit striking, but uh, overall, I'm I'm still okay with. Okay with most character arts actually. But of course the good ones will really stand out to me. This is just oh, the glare. There we go. They're just a normal game. This is the Southeast Asian edition. So yeah, get your game. Get the steel book. There we go. Engage at the spine. A little bit of uh, sim symbols at the back. I wonder if I'm not very really sure like um, who they're supposed to be. Like uh, they're supposed to represent characters or anything. Family, maybe family crest. There we go. And when you open it up, it's the map of uh, the region. Not very really sure on the name. I've been. Uh, keeping myself away from the trailers so I can experience the story uh, uh, just by playing the game itself. I've been trying to do that for the past few game releases now, even Pokemon. And I think I go into the game more excited when I do that. So yeah, uh, the downside is I don't really know anything. <laughs> so this is the cards, I think. The art cards. Okay, gotta be careful, I don't wanna damage these. Yeah, feels like a legacy game uh, celebrating the past series because of uh, how they feature the past characters in the Engage Rings. So, yeah. There we go. First one is Marth from the first game. We have Salika. From the Shadows of Valentia. Uh, I'm not sure which of the numbered game is that. Or maybe it's the an extra game, the Gaiden game. Sigurd. Also another one of, from one of the games. Not sure which one. I didn't play most of them. I only really got into it uh, from Awakening. So, yeah, Leaf. Roy. I like that they. Uh, they feature art from the original art style for each game, and you can see how different it is. Lynn, Erica, and Ephraim. Since it's uh, 
I think it's very nice that even though they have different art styles and everything, uh, they still feel like they, they belong in the same franchise. Makaya, Lucina, and get start to get more modern art styles. Corin, Dylas from Three Houses, and we're back to Mar. Very nice. At the back, it's just the same. Yeah. So yeah, definitely going to be keeping these strange because they always give out these uh, collector art cards, and I don't really know like what I'm supposed to do with them. I I don't take them out or anything. I don't mount them. I don't display them. Maybe I should display them. I don't know. But they don't seem to do anything. Uh, maybe I'll have to think of something. I don't want to damage them as well, so I usually keep them all bundled up like this. And we have, oh, no, it's not here. <laughs> it should be at the back. You can feel something solid in the back, so. We'll be taking this out. And there we go. Oh, I like that the box itself has the sprite design for each of the characters. Don't know if you can see them clearly. There we go. I don't want to knock into the camera stand, so yeah. Oh, I'm knocking it. There we go. Azir again. He is very striking, isn't he? Like, he's in, uh, aren't they? Red and uh, blue makes the sprite pop up so much compared to the usual just blue or green from before. Red and blue really really like magnifies the effect. <laughs> Maybe that was the point of the design. It was all sprite work focusing on the sprite. Here we go. The art of Fire Emblem Engage. So this is the art. Whoa. I am liking the design that they went for for the cover page. Like kind of like a stained glass fresco kind of design. Get a closer look. It's very very detailed. It has the uh, continent and center features the heroes from um, past uh, previous uh, series, the previous games. The Divine Dragon and the Shadow Dragon, Fell Dragon, and everyone else it seems. Okay, Let's see if we can get a closer look. Very nice art. Some concept art. Very detailed. It always blows my mind how much effort they went into designing the thing. How much details they they put in. Model sheets for the main characters, Alir, and the cast. I got to say the design looks very very. Well, they, there's still anime touches to the design, but uh, they are very. How do I say this? Very, uh, they are quite grounded compared to previous designs. I don't know. It just feels that way to me. More concept art, background art, more character model sheets, what they wear and everything. See the clothes are. They look very nice. They look very, but at the same time grounded. No extraneous uh, anime X design like a skirt and armor or anything even if there is uh, they're done very tastefully model sheets again a lot of model sheets model sheets for characters concept art again more model sheets don't know I don't know the character's name so seems like there'll be different 
tribes as well that come from the continent, different tribes of people. They wear the colorful designs, more feathered and everything. The bad guys and the engage uh, emblems, which is all the heroes from the past. The classes. Very nice. Dragon Rider, Griffin Rider, Paladin, I think. Even the horses have different armor depending on where they come from. The dragons too, the wyverns. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah, very, very um, comprehensive art book actually. I would highly recommend. If you're a fan of art books, uh, definitely. I think this Divine Edition is very good um, collector's edition when it comes to the art book. So, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Glad that I'm able to record this and show it to you guys. We'll move on to the final item, I guess. And then we have the poster. I think this is the art that was on the box. So big. Okay. Oh, it is very, very big. I wonder what's the exact dimensions. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Wonder who's the girl, the maiden in the middle. Must be an important character in the story. Okay. Can barely fit this thing on camera. I'll have to find some way to get this laminated. <laughs> I think that's the way. And there we go. It's the art book. Yeah, so very nice, I think. Very standard uh, collector's edition, but I like all of the art basically. And the steel book. The main thing was the steel book, the main draw for me. Uh, the art book is a nice bonus, but I like the collect steel books. Uh, I always love to collect art books in the past, but I realized that I just collect them and I don't do anything much with them so it felt like a waste but the steel book's nice the poster's nice I'll find some way to hang it up yeah that's it for the unboxing video like uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more collector's edition unboxing videos I'll buy try to get my hands on the collector editions for games that I enjoy or I think I'll enjoy. Fire Emblem is definitely one of those uh, series that uh, if you like the gameplay, you're gonna like the, the game uh, regardless of uh, presentation uh, for the series. They've only really failed, I think, like once or twice. Uh, and that's barely, I think the gameplay still holds up no matter how uh, weird they try to go with their executions when it comes to the design of the story and everything. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time then for more collector's edition or whatever unboxing videos. Goodbye!